What's up, Journey Gang? It's your girl, Money, and I'm back with another video. I'm back with another video. <laughs> I'm back with another video, baby. And today, you guys, today, I'm going to be talking to you about the ACT test. Yeah. But before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And join that Journey Gang. And join that Journey Gang. We almost 300. Come on, y'all, oh man. Come on. Oh, we almost there. Let's get to it, baby. Let's get to it, man. Yeah. But yeah, you guys. Like this video. Comment down below with more videos y'all want to see. And let's get to this video. Uh, I took the ACT test Saturday. And you know, you know, all this is going on right now in the pandemic and all that. So, it's a little bit different. So, I'd like to show you with you guys how was it and what to expect doing the ACT test. And I'm just telling y'all some tips, you know, tips and tricks, you know. But yeah, you guys, so now let's get into the video for real, for real. <laughs> okay, so the ACT is basically, um, it's designed to see or det um, to determine how ready you are for college. So I'm test, so I'll give it between um, um, four to five hours of taking the test. They have a, um, they have four sections. English, math, science, and reading. And they also have a writing section. Um, the reason why they got a writing section because some colleges look for um, a writing section. That's why it's good to research um, the college that you would like to go to to see if they require for you to do a writing section. We'll probably spend over three hours taking the test, answering about 200 questions. Um, you also get a break. Um, they have four sections, like I said. English, I'm looking at my notepad, so that's why I'm going to keep looking down. They got English, math, reading, science, and also the writing part, like I said before. Um, with the English test, it has 75 questions. Um, you only have 45 minutes to take that section. With math, you have 60 questions, 60 minutes to take the test, and you get a break, 15-minute break, I believe. Yeah, uh, 10 to 15 minute break. Then after that, you go with the reading, which is uh, 40 questions, 35 minutes, and then uh, science, um, 40 questions, 35 minutes. Uh, English, reading, and science have about five to seven passages in each section. So, yeah, and then writing. I never took the writing, so I really can't tell you about the writing test. So, um, the English, English test is uh, really to test your ability to edit writing. So, it got like punctuations basically on, on that part. Math is the ability to measure the, um, to solve word problems, complicated word problems. Or uh, reading is to check how, re um, how well you comprehend with the reading part. And then science uh, determine whether you know science facts or uh rather how well you um read scientific information and the writing i never took it but i researched it said it's supposed to determine or demonstrate how well you can write a sophisticated argument so if you took a standardized test i think you should know how to do that so the first thing i know is a lie you guys i researched the uh, well actually i made a list of different colleges that i would like to attend to um, it's about five colleges, but my main choice, y'all guys know, you guys know, is Xavier University. But you don't want to look at one college. They also have many different colleges that may have your major. I want to major in pre-med because I want to be an anesthesiologist. So, um, <laughs> you want to look up, um, i say about five, four to five colleges that you would like to attend to and uh, that have your major. And you research it. So after you made your list, you research what is the ACT requirement, your GPA requirement. And what I did, um, most of the colleges that I researched is about a 25, 22 through a 25 um, ACT requirement. So my main goal is to get a 25 on the ACT. I'm not points away, so hopefully the test I took Saturday... <sighs> Hopefully I got it. I think I did way better than I did the first two times. So I'm going to be talking to you guys about that also. The five for tops is a 20. I think a 20 is a qualified for tops. And yeah. So my goal is to get a 25 on the ACT. Because that's what um, 
the colleges that I want to go to, that's the main requirement. So after I researched that, I did go to the ACT chart. I'm going to show you how to look on a picture and on this booklet right here. So it's the ACT chart to show you where um, you stand. And I look at um, my goal, which is the 25, the each section and how many questions I have to get right to get to be able to get a 25 on it. Um, in English, I have to get between a 58 to a 64 question right. In math, I gotta get 42 questions right. In reading and in science, I have to get 31 questions right. After that, I look at that, I um, did subtract the number that is out of, like for English, for example, is 75. Uh, and I subtract that by 61 and or I write, well, I, I wrote down how many uh, questions I have a chance to miss. So it could give me um, like a range. I can get right and how many questions I can get wrong. So that's why I do that. So after all this over, um, you didn't want to prep for it. You just don't want to go into the ACT test. Um, you just don't know what you're doing. So our school gave us this um, ACT boot camp book. Uh, I kind of study that. And also, they got like TikTok. Um, got people that help you with strategies. Believe it or not, TikTok got those. Um, I think if I could find it, I'll put it in this video. They have people that help you with different sections on it, and also YouTube. So you want to prep for that. Prep for the ACT. You just this, this time that I went, I feel like I did way better than the last two times. So the first thing you want to do. You wanna Good night, rest of sleep, okay? You don't want to go in there sleepy, drowsy, um, droggy, because if you do, you're not uh, going to be able to focus on each section. It's a long test, so it's like four to five hours, depending on what you're taking. So you want to get a good night, rest of sleep. The first time I took it, I thought I got a good night, rest of sleep, and I didn't, and I was sleeping, and I was ready to go home after the math section. So you don't wanna do that. You wanna be wide awake, uh, stay woke, and stay focused while doing the test. You also wanna eat um, that morning. If you're not a breakfast person, that day you better be a breakfast person. Get a good, nice breakfast. You eat cereal, banana. You wanna be, not full, but you wanna be, um not hungry because once again the first time i took the test i was hungry and the only thing i was focused on is getting out and giving me some food because my stomach kept growling so you don't want to do that you want to be focused on each section like i said it's a long test so you don't want to be distracted by anything but your main goal is to get the score that you want so keep pushing keep going that's why that's in my head every time Every time I'm done with the section, I right, got three more left. One down, three more left. Two down, two more left. One down, you got one more left. So I just keep pushing myself to the end. Um, the ACT test, um, some questions are kind of tricky. I'm not going to lie to you. Some questions are kind of tricky. And you'll probably be like, really? The answer will probably be so easy. Uh, reading, it, like I said, it's basic comprehension and I, since I'm not a good good uh, not good in reading and English that's not my specialty <laughs> my specialty uh, or my cup of tea math is what I do since I only have 40 no I only got 35 minutes for 40 questions I don't read each passage I think um with reading you got about four or five passages that you have to read so I don't read all those because it's gonna take most um most of my time so what I do I'm gonna show you an example if I can find it in this book I'm gonna show you an example of what I'm talking about so um I like to scan of uh, the passages but I go to the questions first because the questions may have um like ask you Go to line, not go to line, but online such and such. What does this mean? So I'm gonna try to show you an example of what I'm talking about. All right, so like this one. It says, the first two paragraphs, line one through 19, establish all of the following about spider or uh, except that he was. So I, instead of just reading the whole passage, I go to the first two paragraphs and I read whatever 
it um the first two paragraphs is and after that i go back to the question and see what they um like it says, what does it um, establish? So I, I read and then look and see what does it establish in those two paragraphs. Instead of reading the whole thing, I'll be done with that question. Since you got um, 35 minutes for 40 questions, you don't want to spend the most time reading it, if that makes sense to you. And science is basically the same thing, but science got more of uh, like diagrams and figures and tables. Um, like for example, let me show you. It looks like this. This is what science look like. Uh, more like it's passages per se, but it's more like diagrams and stuff. And it, oh, according to Table One, what volume of OH was produced by metal Ali One from the time the volume was measured on day four until the time the volume was measured on day six? So. I will go to table one and I see the middle Ollie and I go to middle um one or whatever it's asking me for and then I see that it says day four and day six and it's asking me um from the time the uh, volume was measured so I probably like add or something but instead of just focusing on focus on the reading this whole thing i could be done with a question in like 30 minutes because i read the question and went back to it and it could be done in like 30 minutes this is a time test you want to find different strategies that works for you because everybody got different strategies like with math sometimes i substitute um let me see if i can find a question if i but with math sometimes i could substitute like the numbers they're asking me for if I can find one, let's see. Instead of just, you know, trying to figure out. Um, I just substitute some, like the numbers that are asking me and I get the answer. If that makes sense to you, I'm gonna show you a picture because I can't find one. So basically with math, my strategy, if they have numbers um, that I could be able to substitute, I just substituted in the problem to one minute on each question in math. Since I got 60 um minutes, I'm going to spend one minute per question. If I could, um, first I kind of find the um, answer like this. So if I could find each question that I could answer like this, um, I could be done with those in about, you know, maybe 20 minutes and I got 40 minutes left to answer the harder questions. I'm just giving you like an estimate. I kind of, that's my strategy of doing math. Uh, also do cherry picking. I think that's what it's called, cherry picking. Um, I learned that in school. Cherry picking, you just pick the question that you know you're gonna answer like this and then save, skip the harder ones to after you finish answering the ones that you could be able to answer in a fast. With English, I haven't found a really good strategy for me yet. Um, but I know fanboy is an um, acronym. I'm gonna put it on the screen for you guys. It's an acronym that kind of helps me with the punctuations and stuff. And um, it's not, I wanna say, it's kind of tricky. It's very, very tricky, Um, very kind of hard. For some people that's not good with testing, I'm good with testing, if that makes sense. So it's kind of challenging but for, for you guys that's not good with time they have an option i think is when you um register for the act test they have an option for you to um click the extended time so you don't have to really rush forgot to tell you guys forgot to tell y'all this is very 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 important please do not if you skip over a question go back and if you don't um can't find an answer make an educated guess if you if you, they say five minutes left and you on question 60 on the english part and you know you got 75 questions and you got five minutes left make an educated guess because every question you mark it could be a 25 percent every question that you make an educated guess on could be a 25 percent chance you got it right so you want to mark everything don't do not do not do not leave any questions blank any questions we on that five minute mark it should be almost almost done don't be on if you're on question 40 you better hurry and rush and make a if you want to stick with c 
better stick with C. Maybe a 25% chance you get that question right. So I took my test Saturday, of course, being a pandemic. So, you know, Miss Rona is not over. Hopefully it'll be over soon, please. Ready to go back to school. Anyway, uh, Saturday I took the test. Um, I think it was at eight o'clock. I had to go to a new uh, testing site. Um, I didn't know where it was at first. And I had to go to a new test site. I know I'm gonna take take my test at Baywood High. Be t um on time to your um to your testing site. You also want to print everything, everything. Uh, it's called a mission ticket. Um, the mission ticket is basically showing confirmation that you're supposed to be taking the test, basically. And you also need the mission ticket to write some type of I I forgot. I think it's a test code. Um, the night before your test, you want to print out your admission ticket. You want to make sure you have two, number two pencils. I think y'all know how it look like. And you want to also have a calculator. Um, you can use a, I forgot that calculator name, but this is a TI-30X from Walmart. The one that everybody use. And then you could also use a, it's a TI something. I, if I could find it, um, put it on the video. But you want to be prepared. You don't want to, because you're going to need that calculator. You're going to need them pencils. Because some um, testing sites don't provide uh, pencils for you. So you want to bring at least two pencils just in case um, just in case if one of your pencils break. Um, you want to be prepared. You want to be on time. And you want to get a good night rest of sleep because you don't want to be tired. You want to eat some good old breakfast. If you're not a breakfast person, you better be that day you take the test. Um, the week um, of your ACT test, I would make, recommend you studying. But you don't have to do like hardcore studying. I say about an hour to an hour and 30 minutes you study every day. Um, you can study one section and so forth. Uh, I said it because um, on Friday, because I took my test Saturday, so on that Friday, I did a light study, which means I just watched YouTube videos and kind of look through this book and see what other strategies I may want to use during the test. The ACT is basically, to me, it's basically about strategies that you can use because since it's a time test, you want to be able to finish on time and answer every question the way you want to now sometimes you're not going to be able to finish on time that's why they have a strategy about educate um educate guests so you can be able to answer every question on the test like i said it's a long test so you want to be very 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 motivated to do it very focused because it's very serious very very hard to get because not that many people get a 36 this is zero of course, y'all knew it, but we ain't looking at the lowest. We're looking at high. Um, I think the to qualify for top, and colleges is not cheap. So the higher your score is, the more colleges, I mean, more scholarships that you could be able to apply to and more scholarships that you may get. And you may even get a full ride to the college that you want to go to. That's why you want to have a high um, ACT score. That's why I want to have a 25. Also, if you have a high um ACT score the more schools that you can um apply to so it's basically like you shopping for a house if that makes sense or shopping for a car because you want a car that fits you or you want a house that fits you um, so if you got sorry guys it's football season so you're gonna hear you're gonna hear a lot of noises just like with the ACT the higher your score is the more colleges that you can apply to um I like to look at that way um you want to be motivated. Like, you want to go in there with confidence. I'm talking about, like, yeah, I got this. Like, every section, I'm going hard. Every section, I'm filling out everything. Don't go and be like, man, I might not get it. Or I may, I may not get the score that I want. Or I may not get this or get that. Nope. You don't want to do that. You want to go in there with a positive attitude. Look, I'm going in there. I'm getting um the score that I want to. I'm already focused. I'm motivated. You you might want to even talk to yourself in the mirror. Oh, well, be motivated. Go in there with, like, you know what you're doing. Don't go in there with being down or down yourself. If you think you can make a 25 on that ACT, go ahead. Do it. 
Go ahead and be comfortable. Yeah, I got this, man. Yeah, I got this. Just so I hope and I pray that I get the score that I want on my third try. And y'all, with the ACT, you can take the test how many times you want. You can take it 50 times. You can take it 100 times. Take it till you get the score that you want. And when you get that score, guess what? Done. No more. Finito. Once you register or sign in for the ACT, uh, it gives you the option to send your scores to the colleges that you want to go to. And I think it's like $13. You got to pay for everything, so it don't matter. So, college is not cheap. So, we want the ACT to be high, man, right? so they could, you know, yeah. College is not cheap. We want this full scholarship, baby, so we don't have to pay for nothing. We don't, we don't want to pay for zero things. Nothing. Not the room, not the books, not the tuition. We don't want to pay for nothing. We want to go to college for free. That's our main goal. So, let's, this is the end of this video. I really, really hope y'all understand uh, some of the stuff that I said. And, you know, it kind of helped you guys. If it did, come back to this video and comment down below. My name is going to college. We, we're seniors. Or, like, I just decided to share with you guys if you got, if, um, y'all underclassmen and y'all want to see this video. You know, this is some tips that I'm going to give y'all. Hope y'all really understand those. Hope y'all really enjoyed this video. Please like this video. Well, please comment down below with more videos y'all want to Also, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, baby. Subscribe, mine. Subscribe to this channel. Let's get to 300, baby. We almost there. We almost did a journey game. But yeah, you guys, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it if you made it to the end. And y'all already know what it is. It's Imani on the cam. And I'm signing out. Bye, Jenny Gang.